Yes, today we're going to talk more about uh, flowchart. You need to know knowledge about the flowchart and how it works because that is where most of the transactions are. And you can see here we have the purchase order transaction. We have uh, about the estimates, which is still work uh, as closely as the sales order. And you have the about create sales receipt. And that is where I want to start. As you can see about the uh, about the credit sales receipt, it is about the bill your customer and receive payment at the same time. It means somebody have come to the amount, you have picked the item he want, and now you can you record to do what to re, to record a receipt so that you can so at least you have bought at uh, a certain a genuine item according to the product you have gone with. In this case. You require to create create a circuit. Just click there, and we have something called um, uh, so coach. In this uh, so coach uh, tips to help you at least to know which is the second step. The moment you click there, it will show you now the second step. This is where you want. You want now to go to the what? It is when you receive the 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 payment at the time of sale. Create a circuit receipt. After you create sales receipt, you need to go to the record, record deposit. It means because you have already received the money, you require to deposit them in the bank. After you give customer the sales receipt, record the deposit in your bank account, at least where the money is more safe. Uh, in this case, just uh, look the other thing is about the, the estimates. When you click about the estimates, you can see about um, when you buy a customer project or start by creating a, the estimate, be your customer turn into the estimate into an invoice. That is what you can see now. After moving from this step, which is now the estimate or a sales order, you go to the next step, which is now you create an invoice. Invoice based on what? It is based on what the customer have already ordered, which is an, a sales order or an estimate in this case. As you can see, they create an invoice based on the estimate the, to the billing of your customers. Uh, in this invoice, it will reflect how much the customer should pay for the various product uh, he or she have ordered. From there, the next step, it will be about receive payments. Receive payment from who? When you receive payment, record the invoice as paid. It means uh, you receive payment from your customers which you have already delivered item on credit. In this case, you have delivered item on credit and they require to pay them later. In this receive payment, it can be in form of a check or cash. It means you have to record as paid so that the customer when come and see it can be seen, screen, see, seen cleared as per the item uh, he was being delivered. In this case, after you receive the payment, whether cash or check, it means you have to record deposit to show that you have already received the amount uh, in full, or maybe the amount you receive, whichever how many how, how many instalment you choose to pay with. Uh, as you can see, there is after you enter an invoice. After you enter an invoice, now you can see that you require to record require to record deposit in your bank account uh, those are some of those bank accounts as you can see there we have uh, various bank accounts which are recorded there for the bank accounts uh, balances you can see they have different amounts as per this uh, this amount are the, are the opening balance and you have them as per the transaction of which have been made from different accounts that means those are how the flowchart works and we have something else about the enter enter time when you click about the enter time, we have something about use weekly timesheet and you have time and enter single activity. It means there are people who work together very closely with the, the time and uh, how many hours you have worked for, the, for that day is the one you have been paid as per the amount uh, you negotiated with your client, with your employer. That means you can work, you can, do, for example, you can maybe. Uh, within an hour, it will be a 200 shillings. It means if you work for 10 hours, it means you multiply 200 shillings plus.
at that time of the hours. It means if you work for less time, you pay be less, you will be paid less. You work for more time, you paid more amount. That's how the time by works on that in that flowchart. Uh, something else about uh, purchase, about the purchase order. You as you can see this, we have this purchase order. A purchase order is a document sent by uh, the owner of the company, which is now searching computer courage, uh, to one of our vendors or suppliers in this case. Vendors and suppliers, uh, they mean the same. In this case, you can see the company choose to, to buy stock expense, create a purchase order, which is PO, as said to a supplier or a vendor. It means if the case we are, have the less items, in our stock, we may choose to order for more item from uh, our vendors or suppliers who supplies in our computer courage in this case, as uh, the name of the company. From there, there are two options. When you receive items, you can see you will receive when your order arrives, match it with PO and receive item as stock. Receive item as stock because now you have gotten more stock which have already in that uh, bill. We have two options. Sometimes you can see this, uh, your supplier uh, have given only the delivery, not for, for items, but not a, a bill. In this case, receive item without the bill. That means that is a delivery note and you require to wait for the bill to come so that you're gonna pay. In this case, there is another place whereby they receive, you receive item with bill. You receive item with bill, this reflect a different perspective because you require to you have already gotten the bill for the for your items so you have no other option you require to skip step three and you go directly to step four for payment of the bills when you see the you payment you pay the bill that is one of the things happens in your account the amount you reduce because you have paid you have paid the bill and like when the customer pays you the amount increases in the account. But when you pay, the amount decreases in your account. Uh, on the other hand, that's how the transaction goes. When you receive item without the bill, I repeat that what you need to do, you have to go to step three. This step three will be in a position to show you how you can enter the previous, the, the bill, uh, because to show that uh, you receive item as you wait the bill to follow that is what you should work on that then we have about how you can manage your VAT because VAT is very crucial uh, VAT is very crucial and you need to know how you manage your VAT because uh, as a taxman comes you require to show how much you have been deducting your client how much you should pay as per your VAT both for employees and for the item sold those are some of the VAT tracked, and this is where you require to know how much you should pay even before, so that you can be a position to do your tax return. We have the chart of account. In this chart of account, one thing to realize about the chart of account that is where most of the transactions are being done, and it can be uh, recorded. Uh, you can be seen clearly there. In this case, you can use chart of account to create a bank account and show some of those transactions. Also, you can use this chart of account to reflect, to do some changes or to edit some of your fixed assets in your company. So it means chart of account requires to have different transactions, the different transactions have different functions. For example, we have said it's about the fixed asset. It can be decoded here, it can be edited here, and you can show how much is have been deposited different fixed items. We have the items and service. In this items and service, another thing you acknowledge is that items and service now reflect what? Uh, as you can see, there's only view or modify your QuickBooks account, bank income and expense. Those are some of the chart of account information you require to You can view, you can modify for the QuickBooks accounts, both bank income and expenses. The other thing is about uh, you can view, modify list of items and services for sale. It means that where you go, you modify your items, you modify your service, and also you can create new list of items and services you are dealing with for your company. 
in this case or your intersection in this case uh, we have about that just quantity on hand and just quantity on, uh, or, uh, on hand or especially on the stock item that's where you maybe modify as per the items which you have already gotten maybe you have five of them but you have received three you can still adjust for those items uh, in case there is some uh, changes or some errors in this case you can see record the deposit of uh, of one or more customers payment in this bank account as well you re once you receive the cash you will require to deposit in your account uh, we have about the reconciliation match transaction in your quickbooks account against their bank statement that's where you need to match the uh, the, the transaction you have been doing together with the bank statement so that you can see whether your amount is aligned together or maybe there is some problem so that at least you can uh, be in a position to go and uh, release your company in case the amount doesn't uh, match together and you can be in a position to ask some of those questions maybe you think require clarification that's when you require to have a reconciliation in this and that's when you require to go and see because there are some interest in the bank and some they have something called bank service charges require to uh, to still be indicated there we have the current uh, account register in case about opening a, uh, a bank account register or view or sorted the list of learning balances you can still click there and about the writing checks writing checks you can see there we have about um, writing checks of expense that you have not entered a bill quickbooks or record a cash transaction in this case in case you want to write for a check a check can be in the, can involve uh, different people one you can be paying some of the bills you can be paying your employees those are some of uh, issues where you require to write write a check uh, either you are paying for a certain bill for example kenya power lighting company you are paying for rent and you are paying employees you are paying of some of your uh, items delivered from you uh, by vendors you require to go to write a check it is the most preferable way then we have review checks and payroll payments that has been recorded in quickbooks and select the check you want to print that's why you require to go there so that you can print some of the checks learn about the payroll you can see learn more about efficient and the cost effective a solution in the house assisted by the payroll processing you got to know more about the payroll so that you can be preparing for uh, payroll for employees in advance and you can know you got to know about the statements and the statement charges that is another crucial information to know about accumulated charges that will include, include statements you need to know some of those statement charges because sometimes you may be required for a statement there are some charges either for print or transfer for those uh, for those charges either bank charges or some different uh, statements you require to at least to get all those charges and uh, you need to know more about them and we have about those statements you can see you can create a new statement to show your customers history and the account activity charges payments and balances in this case customer can come and tell me i need to know about uh, my statement how much i have been paying as far as my items uh, the items uh, products delivered to me and how much is the balance for me and how much a uh, which specific date or which product you have been delivering to me those are some of the statements you require to acknowledge them because they are very crucial in this case you can go click and uh, about the employee because you want now to go to employee center to view employee list and manage employee data transaction and payroll in this case will be crucial for you at least to record a new employee or add a new employee in your in your company so that you can be the uh, person to have the data or the information about employee uh, we have the customer you can click the customer center to see the list and still uh, to create a new customer list uh, so that you can have the backup of the information about a certain client the vendors is very crucial so that anytime you want you can get the contact of the vendor you can get the contact 
of the supply information so that in case you want to pay to be a bit easier for you to pay without no problem that's how the uh, flow chart works uh, it is uh, i think you understood about pay bills and about everything requires in that uh, flow chart this is about the quick books we are the search in kenya assist you to more get more ideas about it thank you